Hey everyone, so as you know, I try to upload twice a week, but this week is going to be very, very hectic. So I decided to do a makeup tutorial, which is partially this, except the lips. So, um, yeah, but my other video will be something light, something easy for me to edit and upload for you guys. So I'm going to do a haul. I don't do um, quite a whole lot of videos like that because some of you are so judgmental so if you are just get the doubt i will not wait for you at the doubt okay i was waiting on you at the doubt so let's get started right now i only have a couple of things but you know what i'm saying just get to it so the first thing i purchased it was the in bloom collection from the color pop which was the collection from my friend Jamie Greenberg, celebrity makeup artist. Make sure to check her out. Um, I actually received this uh, quite a few weeks ago. Well, received it. I actually purchased this. The um, I'm not gonna lie, the shipping was kind of long. I was like, I was waiting at my house. I was like, please get here. But this collection was actually my first introduction to the ColourPop brand and I absolutely love it. So this kit comes with two blushes. So you have a very bright coral over here, a dusty um, medium rose, and in the middle you have a highlighter. And you have three lip colors which kind of match the blushes. So you have a color called Freshman, beautiful color over here. Oh, so this is Freshman, look at that, look at it. Beautiful. Now these are, I believe they're all cream finishes, let me check. Yeah, all cream finishes. Then you have Frenemy, Frenemy which I would say it's kind of an orangey coral color. Beautiful. And my, at first I didn't know if I would like it because it is so pink, but actually it's a nudish pink. So this one is called Sweet Thing. Well, Sweet Thing, excuse the uh, northern accent. But beautiful. Um, like I said, I've used it in a couple of previous video so make sure to check it out check it out and I just checked online and this is still available I also got three other colors I got a color called BFF BFF is beautiful it is very nude on the lips it's what I'm wearing right now but I had a pre I had like another lipstick that left a stain a little bit underneath so that's why it's kind of a different color so this is BFF then you have Wifey. Wifey is a gorgeous kind of pink with a purple to it. Beautiful color. And the other one, I don't know why I bought it. I don't even know if I'll wear it. Let me know if I should do a video. Um, it is so dark. It is called Feminist and it's a very, very dark aubergine color. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, it is a beautiful. And if you want a full-on review, I will get to it. I'm actually um, going to try other products from ColourPop, so be sure to stay tuned for that. After I went to my local Mac, and I believe it or not, but I rarely go to my Mac, just because um, I always rebuy the whole things, and when I do go to Mac, I rebuy like backups of backups. But they have released a couple of brushes um, that I wasn't aware of. I actually went with a friend and my friend, you know, needed to buy some couple of things. So I kept looking while she was looking at her stuff. And those two brushes, they actually jumped in my face. I was like, what are those? I remember Mac had a paddle brush like this, but it was black back in the day. But it kept shedding and shedding and shedding. But I really like those kind of uh, brushes to apply blush. Especially on me that has like big features. So usually I will apply blush or just powder all over. But then I saw this brush and I actually didn't know what was, what was the brush for. I'm like, okay, well, whenever you need powder around your nose or underneath the eyes. So I kept playing with it. Excuse me, it's dirty. But actually, because I'm so heavy handed while I apply blush, especially on myself, I actually use this as a blush brush now because it picks so very little product and I'm just able to brush it on my, you know, the ball of my cheeks and it doesn't like apply too much. And I've just recently been doing that for the past two weeks and I'm like, this is my new blush brush and I'm going to get a backup because I used it on the client and then my client was like oh this is so soft I love it like are you even touching my skin I'm like girl yes I love love this we came across the uninterrupted 
pro eyeshadow, pro long wear eyeshadow, and it looks like this. And I, believe it or not, but I always wanted to purchase it. But it's kind of a caca color. It's not like the most amazing color. It's kind of a, I would say like caramel with a green undertone. But my girlfriend like was like, oh my god, I'm buying it. I'm like, okay, well maybe I'm gonna buy it too. So our Mac girl came over and she's like, do you know that they're gonna discontinue this color? I'm like, girl, I'm gonna take two right now. But yes, I'm kind of, I went, you know, from one to a hundred really quick. When you say to me that something's gonna get discontinued, I need to get it. So I bought it, and this is actually really, really pretty in the crease. It's kind of a warm, uh, let me swatch it for you. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of a, when you blend it, it's kind of a deep ochre color. It kind of matches with my shirt. After I got a paint pot, oh, where's my paint pot? Let me get it. Okay, I got the paint pot in Dangerous Cuvée, which is kind of a silvery, mauvey color. It is really, really, really beautiful. It looks something like that. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. Like this, it's kind of a sheer color, but I mean, I usually use these as a base. Like, they're not the main only thing I use on my lids. So yeah, like I said, it's called Dangerous Cuvée. I haven't used it yet, um, well, just, swatched it, but I haven't used it on the client. All I can say is that it's pretty sheer. It is somewhat buildable, but um, as a base, it's gonna be fantastic. After I went to Sephora, and um, I actually bought a new Makeup Forever eyeshadow. Let me just get it out of the pan. I wanted a very bold emerald color, so I've been eyeing this color for a while now. This is the color. Look at this, absolutely amazing. It is the ME304. And you guys know that I love, I love um, Makeup Forever eyeshadows. Like, hello, hello, hello. So I bought this. Another thing that I bought at Sephora, and honestly, I don't know if it's worth it. I was kind of in another city. I had, uh, oh no. The Dior Show Fusion Mono Longwear Eyeshadow in 661 Meteor. And it looks something like this. And actually, I don't know if I'm gonna use, well, I'm gonna use it, but it was kind of an impulse buy. I was um, at a, an event with a client and I was there like way early, like two hours early. So I decided to go to the mall and I saw, I saw um, Sephora and at my local Sephora in my city to don't have Dior. Um, it is a brown. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? So see like it's really weird because when she swatched it, it's kind of a brownish with a lot of golds to it. But when she swatched it in the store, it looked like it had like a million of glitters in it. So I'm like, oh, this is gonna look like amazing when you pat it on, like the lid, right? But I used it on the client, I'm like, I wasn't like, you know, crying for Jesus or Buddha or Hala. Hala or Hala, I don't know. I love everyone out there, okay? This is kind of a mousse uh, formula. It is beautiful, but it was very expensive. I think it was like near $40 or $35 or something like that. So this was kind of an impulse buy. Do I regret buying it? Yes. Uh, am I going to use it? Yes. Uh, will I buy another color, another shade, no, <laughs> sorry. So now let's talk about my recent obsession and it's because of my friend Alexandra. Um, I have a client that's very, very sensitive on the eyes. For some reason her eyes always water but they don't water down, they water like on the actual lid. And I'm just, I've been working her for a couple of months and, and it's always been like the same like she, she worked with various makeup artists, so it doesn't really bother her because the makeup artists are always with her so they can fix it. But I told her, I'm like, girl, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna fix it. Like we're gonna find what's causing the leakage. So um, I'm still not sure what's causing the leakage on her lids. Either like it's irritation, like because we play too much onto the lids. Maybe she is reacting to talc or uh, mica. We're not too sure, but I decided to use um, products on the lids that are very, very, very moisturizing. And my girlfriend, when she came in my city, she was like, you need to try those. It's the coconut water uh, color, watercolor eyeshadows from Josie Moran. So when I was with her, I bought two colors, and when you buy them, they look like this. So you have the pigment on the lower, 
I would say like three quarters of the jar. And up top you have coconut water and uh, argan oil. I actually looked at the ingredients and the first two ingredients are coconut water and argan oil, so it's really, really good. So you get them, you need to shake them really, really well. That is the key, like you need to shake them. When I was with her, I bought two colors. I bought Rio, Rio de Rose Gold, so which is the rose gold color. And I bought a dark brown, which is called Bora Bora Bronze. Beautiful, as you can see, it's really, really beautiful. It's kind of a warmish, reddish brown. And recently, like maybe four days ago, I bought the green one. Right now, I'm just shaking it for you guys. It is called Rainforest Green. So it's not fully sh shook, shaken, whatever. But these are actually so, so amazing. You need a base. Uh, if Or if you're only going to use this on the lid, you need to pat a little bit of eyeshadow on it. But I used this on my client and her, there was no leakage. Like, these are not that expensive. I believe they're like 25 bucks. Well, I mean, they're expensive, but I mean, not like Dior expensive. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only downside is I believe they only have like five shades and color wise, they're, I believe three of them are all, or four of them are all neutrals, like brown, gold, and rose gold. And the other ones, you have one purple and a green one. So Josie, my girl, if you are listening to me right now, please come out with other amazing products. Guys, you need to check it out. If you are wondering what this looks like, I used it in a previous video and it's what I'm you know, wearing now with a little bit of eyeshadow on top, but it makes the most beautiful, bases for the eyes doesn't feel too dry especially if you're sensitive i'm i'm not done raving about these these are going into my favorites for show i actually forgot something that i got at mac um i got because for for my kit i'm really like ghetto like i use like random pouches that i have like don't get me wrong not like hello kitty pouches but just black or gray pouches but i was at mac and there was a set that i told the girl like, could you get me the big one? And she's like, oh, it comes in a set of three. And there was like this one inside of it and a little, uh, a tiny one, like littler, smaller than this. Let's just put it out there. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay. So there's no way I can only get this. She's like, no, but I can tell you the price. I'm like, yeah, sure. So she told me like it was 50 bucks. And I am a pro artist, so I do have a discount. But with my discount, like, it's still good though. If you're not a pro, you get like three pouches for 50 bucks. Um, and with my discount, I believe this was like 30 for the three pouches. So it was really, really good. I'm super excited about these. These are really, really good. Um, after I went to Walmart to pick up some lashes and some random things, you know, about Walmart, you go in for one thing, you get out with like a freaking receipt that's long as my arm. So. I saw this and I wanted to try it. It is the Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. Um, I'm very, very not not impressed about this at all. In my mind, it was it would have been kind of like grainy and turns like into kind of a cream. You know, like the like we've seen any products like this, but this is kind of like a gel and it's just. It leaves my skin feeling, so it is a gel, I don't know if you can see, it doesn't look like a gel, but it is a gel. Um, it leaves my skin like, if, after I've used it, like it, like I'm supposed to, I read the instruction girl. I don't know, my skin felt very, very dry, even if I moisturized, and the uh, smell kept like lingering. Like, ugh, I don't know, I don't like it at all. I'm gonna give it to a friend. Maybe if you have a oily skin. It says it's for all skin type, but I'm not going to use this again. It is from Freeman. Usually I like the their masks, but this one, no girl. No girl. After I decided to try these lashes from Ardell, I'm all about not free individual lashes, but these ones are double individual. So they're a little bit um, thicker. It's like if you would take like two individuals and just put it in one stack. I've used them and I really, really like them because sometimes, most of the time, I will, in, instead of using like a full band um, lash on my client, I prefer creating my own lash with these, which is very, very great, but you go through them very, very quickly. So I decided to try the double individuals and you actually use less when you buy these. So I'm going to, um, 
rebuy these for show. I wanted to try them. These were all medium length. But um, I'm gonna try to get like the small ones, the medium and the long ones. So these are very, very great. Ardell makes just like, they make great lashes. I love them. After I had a client that had a uh, red carpet affair, well, red carpet event, and she had a whole lot of legs going on. So I decided to try the airbrush legs from Sally Hansen. Uh, a lot of you girls tried it, especially the spray ones, but I can't remember, but on YouTube, a girl told me that, uh, well, I saw a girl talking about it and she's like, oh, these are way better. So I tried these and they're extremely dark. Like I have the light one and the medium one. Uh, girl, they're still like, first of all, the medium one is like super orange. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Let me swatch. Hello, is it coming in? So can you see that? So obviously you see the light one and the dark one, but I mean, they're so, so orange. Look at it. So what I do, like don't get me wrong, they actually feel good on the skin and they actually smell kind of nice. So once you blend it out, it's not that bad, but I mean, if you use the light, use a very light hand. And if you use the dark, you better be dark girl. Um, so what I do is mix a little bit of moisturizer. Like I always mix and match everything that I use. So I actually use like one part of this, one part of the Scott Barnes bling, uh, body bling, and one part of moisturizer of my client's choice. And that makes the most beautiful concoction ever. So uh, will I be repurchasing this? No, 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 no. A little bit too orange for me. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't show on the skin because of my concoction, but I won't be repurchasing this. I'm actually going to give it to one of my girlfriends that is dark. Uh, my client is like medium skin tone. She's not dark, she's not light, she's just in the middle. And it was like a um, red carpet event, so I bronzed her whole body. But um, no, I'm not going to repurchase this, no. No, no, no. After for myself, because I'm starting to think I want to show off my legs a little. It's getting uh, a little bit uh, warmer here in Canada. And I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on this St. Tropez. And I was kind of in a hurry. So when I went to Walmart, when I bought these, I actually bought the Sublime Bronze Luminous Bronzer Self Tanning Lotion for Body from L'Oreal. So it's not the best, but I remember using it like back in the day. And like I said, I was kind of in a hurry. So I bought this and I believe this was like five bucks on sale or something. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get it. Um, I mean, nothing special to it. It's not the best, um, you know, self tanning lotion out there, but I wanted something very cheap. But like I said, I was in a hurry. And because I want to try something different, I've always been a fan of the Saint Tropez one, but I want to try a new one either from Josie Moran, but I'm waiting for my girlfriend to test it out because she bought it. Or I want to try the other one, Vita, Vita Lila, Vita something. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I've always been an extremely big fan of the Saint Tropez, like in the cream. Um, I don't like the spray and I don't like the mousse. It's just cream. It's my thing. Like it's my, it's my medium. Okay. So after that's pretty much it. I went to Bath and Body Works and I was with my sister. For some reason, I haven't bought a candle in forever. I actually bought a candle, but that's not what I want to talk about. But she actually wanted to go in for this product over here, which is called Sleep Aroma Therapy Lavender Chamomile Pillow Mist. And it looks like this, and there's actually two, two scents. So Lavender Chamomile and Lavender Vanilla. So uh, I told her I would, you know, get her one. They're only 10 bucks. So after I told her, I think I want to try it because I, I always have a hard time sleeping. I'm doing way better. I go to bed way, way earlier than I, what I used to before. Um, but I think I wanted some, you know, to try something else, like a smell or something. So I bought one. So we get to the counter and the girl was like, oh, when you buy two, you get one free stuff. I was like, holla. Yes, girl! My sister actually, I think she got the uh, lavender chamomile and I got the lavender vanilla. And when she told me, the cashier, when she told me, you have another one free, well, I retook the chamomile. So um, I'm probably gonna gift one to my friends and I really like it. Um, but I th in my mind, it would have stayed like uh, more than a day in your bed, but I've used it for the past uh, four nights. 
and you actually need to respray this I don't know don't get me wrong I haven't even read the instructions but you actually need to spray this like I would say like almost every night have you girls tried it let me know actually I kind of like the fact that you need to spray every night it's kind of like oh tonight I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep well you know it's kind of Oh, oof, girl, excuse me. Ow! Ouch, I think I pulled something in my neck, girl. Oof. Like I was saying... <sighs> Calm down. Center yourself. Like I was saying, I kind of like the fact that you need to spray every night because it kind of puts you in the mood. Okay, I'm going to sleep well tonight. Let's get to relaxing and baby making love. So that's about it. Hopefully you like this little random video. So let me know in the comments. If you have tried one of the products I just talked to you guys about, and if I would recommend something, get the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow right now. Get it, girl! So that's it. I will see you guys very soon. Bye!